Hi, I'm Cassandra. I'm from Holy Raw. If you hear a baby in the background, that's because I'm a mom and I have a baby and I can't really do anything without her. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the frequently asked questions that we usually get about the African bath sponge. So this is the African net. It looks like this and it's similar to your loofah. The only difference is it's not balled up into a bunch and it's extremely durable. There's also um, an interlocking of knots. So you'll see here we have a diamond shape. Do you see this diamond shape? I'm trying my best with one hand because I'm holding the baby with the other hand. Diamond shape here and between those diamonds, like at each point of the diamond, there's a knot. And that's what makes this really sturdy. Also, this is made out of nylon. So we'll just go into one of the questions that we usually get. And one of the questions that we get is, are African exfoliating nets eco-friendly? Now, this is a little bit of a complicated uh, question to answer is, and that's because this is not made out of a natural fiber. Nylon is made out of a chemical process so it's not a natural process to make this. The reason why we still consider this to be eco-friendly is because we're not throwing this away like your loofah. So your loofah first of all it breeds bacteria so it's not really healthy for you and it doesn't last long. I actually had a loofah and I think I used it for like two or three weeks and it was already falling apart. This is not going to fall apart. This is going to last you years, okay? It's recommended that you replace it every two years, but like honestly, if you don't mind it looking a little frayed, this thing will last you like, I feel like your whole lifeline. I feel like you don't ever need to replace your bath sponge. And that leads us to our next question. How do I care and clean my African bath sponge? So at Holy Raw, we offer you reusable packaging and we are trying to stay on that eco-friendly. And on, on the back of our sponge, we actually have very detailed instructions on how you can take care of your sponge. Tips and tricks is that you can machine wash your sponge if it gets dirty. That's why we made this packaging so you can travel with your sponge. And then after each use, you just hang it to dry. The way that the sponge is designed is when you hang it to dry, it doesn't breed bacteria. So it dries very, very quickly. Another question that we get is how often should I use the African net? Now, um, in Africa, we take baths usually twice a day and that's because it's a hotter climate and you end up sweating. In a cooler cl climate like the Western world, world or in Canada, you might take a bath once a day because taking a bath twice a day is going to be drying to your skin. So you might use this once a day. If you're new to exfoliating, like if you never exfoliated your skin before, then you might find this to be a little harsh. So you might want to use it instead of daily, uh, two or three times a week so you can build yourself up to the daily exfoliation. But long story short, how often should you use it? You should use it as often as you feel comfortable. Most people that are familiar with the bath sponge use it on a daily basis. Can I use the African bath sponge on my face? I get this question a lot and I, and I understand it because we want to exfoliate our whole body and we also want to exfoliate our face. And then people are really worried if they cut this, is, is it going to fray or get ruined? No, it's not going to get frayed. It's not going to get ruined. You can cut off a small piece and use it on your face. I just recommend that you don't use the same piece that you use on your face for your whole body. What are the benefits of using an African Ned sponge over like some of the other sponges? One really good thing that I recommend this for is ingrown hairs. So if you're a person like me that suffers from ingrown hairs, it's really good. Just scrubbing those areas, keeping the exfoliation, keeping the skin turning over really helps with ingrown hairs. It also helps with stretch marks. It helps you get hard to reach areas like your back. It's quick drying, so less bacteria grows. It's easy to travel with, especially that with our packaging, we have travel friendly packaging. It removes dead skin cells, it boosts circulation. So you'll notice that your skin all around starts to tighten like that youthful, vibrant look at the end of the day. Where can I buy my African sponge? They're from Holy Raw. Shop at holyraw.ca. Shop at holyraw.ca. Can I buy African sponge wholesale? So we do support wholesale orders. You can message us directly if you have like a spa or any kind of business that you want to sell the sponges. We can offer it to you in our packaging. Shop at holyraw.ca. Okay, this is a good one. Is the African sponge good for sensitive skin? This is another question we get a lot. Exfoliating for everyone is good, right? You need everybody shed skin. Like we all are human and we all grow and we're all getting older. We all have skin that's at the surface and shedding. So what I would recommend is to maybe just use this once a week lightly on your skin to just kind of remove the skin until you get 
used to it. You also want to avoid excessive pressure when using this. Just use it very gently. Make sure you get it really wet so it can be soft. Put soap in it and then just use like a gentle circular motion all over your body. Avoid any areas that has cuts or are extra sensitive. I mean, we got a lot of questions and if you have any questions please drop them in the comments. Okay, this is, an, this is the last question I'm going to answer. The question is, do you moisturize after using it? Yes. You know, right now, what is trending is your face. Everybody cares about their face, everybody washes their face, but we don't really talk about your full body. The skin is the largest organ on your body. So you need to take care of your skin every single day. So after taking a shower, you first, you're exfoliating, you're removing the dead skin. So now you have your fresh skin exposed. You want to make sure directly after showering, you just pat dry and then apply a moisturizer to lock in all of that moisture. We usually recommend a body butter and the number one body butter that I recommend is shea butter. But shea butter is really good at locking in moisture and keeping your skin like nice, supple and even and soft. And this will help you have just the overall even skin complexion from your face to your toes. So that is all of the frequently asked questions from that we usually get from Holy Raw. If you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, please drop them in the comments box and I'll try to get to them. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you need a bath sponge, you don't have one, shop at holyraw.ca. Thank you so much. My name is Cassandra and I'm from Holy Raw.